Well, it was a long interview, so I think that helps in a way because you know you've got a bit of you've got a bit of sort of wiggle room, really. Mm. So we'd covered quite a lot of the policy stuff that you would, you know, you know, you yeah. know what these interviews are like around there. And so we'd gone through quite a lot of the manifesto stuff because it was in the heat of the snap election, and then you know it was we'd organised the interview on the basis that you would have this um, moment where you talk about something a bit more personal, a bit about her childhood, a bit about who she is to try to get under the skin. And I'd done some, you know, reading about her life as a, you know, as a young girl growing up, daughter of a vicar. And I just thought she's had this sort of sense of duty and had quite a sort of, you know, mission in life. And I just wondered, you know, where the, where the naughty moments might have been. <laughs> um, so it was just, you know, it was just one of those moments. And you could see her, she was sort of a little... Uh, taken aback uh, by. And when she said, my, <clears throat> my naughtiest moment was running through a field, <laughs> you know, what was your real honest reaction well, that Well, you time? saw it. <laughs> my honest reaction was what, what you saw, you know. I was, that was like truly the naughtiest thing you've ever done. Again, the first programme we came on air with the, the suspects in the Stephen Lawrence um, uh, case uh, really, you know, hit home very hard. Um, and all sorts of programmes over the years. You know, we cover things from elections. We've covered things like the Paris terror attacks. We do consumer stories. Um, we've got some amazing programmes that have taken us through all the complexities of Brexit. Yeah. Anything you can imagine over 20 years, we've sort of just been where our audience is at. I and think. can I ask you, when it was... Tonight with Trevor McDonald, of course, that's what we remember. Yeah. And then when you were... Uh, I mean, I know in your, in respect, you sort of co-presented with Trevor McDonald. That must have been nerve-wracking, obviously, at that <laughs> point. And then you're taking on the mantle of this show years ago from Sir Trevor. You know him well, don't yeah. you? And I think there was a... Was there an evening recently where you well, celebrated? We, yes, yeah, we had an evening a, a week ago in Manchester because um, the vast majority of the Tonight programmes are made by our amazing team in Manchester. Um, and we had an evening. Uh, and what is he like now? Because we miss oh. it. Like, TV mm. misses Sir yeah. Trevor. I well, think. he's still he's there. He's done the mafia programmes. He's course. doing yeah. so much in terms of current affairs. You know, I'm, I miss him on news, of course. But you know, he's a really, really dear friend. Um, we work on all sorts of projects together. Um, and to take on the mantle of the Tonight programme after him, I mean, God, you know, it was just a total honour, really. And and the first night I sat in the studio when we brought back news at ten, ten years ago. Um, we've got all the, you know, you've got all the stories going round in your head, and all I'm thinking is, <laughs> I am sitting next to you. Sir Trevor. I'm sitting next to you. Yeah. And he's yeah. such a lovely man, isn't he? Yeah. He's amazing. Now, I've got a question for you. I don't know whether this is true. This is what I'd heard. Oh, look here. <laughs> I believe you ran through some fields. No, not yeah. one. Um, I've heard that you interviewed the, uh, the uh, Pakistani president at the time, Zardari. Yes. And uh, it was a longer interview than I think you imagined, or you were running late, and I can imagine that's for various reasons. But then, because you were running late, you are about to miss your plane. So the president called ahead to the airport <laughs> and kept this British Airways flight or whatever it was waiting for you. Is this true? Um, I, yes, it yeah! is. <laughs> that was brilliant. But I think it was actually... I must correct the story because, okay. actually, I think... I, he'd been running late for the interview and we were we were running very, very late to oh, get back to oh, base. Okay. So I think actually, and it wasn't just for me, obviously it was our whole team because you don't just rock up no. on your own. You've got this amazing production yeah. team with you. Yeah. And yes, um, that we is did That is the power of well, the hardly, president at the time. <laughs> yeah. And fantastic. it's been lovely talking to you. We've got good rapport, so it's just time for me to ask you what's the naughtiest thing you've ever done, <laughs> Julia I'm Chingham. testing that up, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've got another thing coming up. Ah, oh, you see, I think the redness is... Uh, there'll that be something under this angelic yeah. profile. <laughs> there is naughtiness going on. Um, fantastic. And, and I have to say, you, you, you started your career in Birmingham, didn't you? BBC Midlands, Midlands today. today. Yeah, that's I, right. I, yeah. I, me as well. Yeah. That, um, I was well, very the fortunate. Asian Network, based in Birmingham. So yeah. What about Bab? Have you got a Brummie accent? Have you got any of it? I'm a Leicester girl. No, oh, are you a Leicester no, no, girl? No, no, no. Oh, okay. East Midlands. Yeah, a bit I can do a bit of that. <laughs> uh, thanks so much, Shirley. Nice to Love see you at the other end of the day. Yes, I'll, yes, I'll be, I'll be back at the other our end tonight. Yeah. Okay.